Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today, we are gonna go over the single most dangerous repair that you could ever do on an iPhone. Now, I'm not even talking about board level. I'm not talking about refurb. I'm not talking about anything crazy. I'm talking about something, this is a repair that is done at the most basic shop level, okay? We're talking about batteries, okay? Batteries on iPhones. Now, not to call anybody out, but I've even seen people like Batteries Plus destroy iPhone batteries taking them out. If Batteries Plus is messing up, then this is the problem. And if this is the problem, it needs to be addressed. So I'm addressing it right here, right now. I'm gonna teach you, I'm teaching you right now how to take out these battery pull tabs I don't want to hear it anymore, okay? I don't want to see any more of these blown up iPhones because people are prying batteries out. Now, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump in here because this one is a hot one for me and I could sit here and lecture about it all day. So I'm not going to. We're just going to go ahead and get started, all right? So, let's jump on over to the new camera angle. All right, so like I said, this is for iPhones. All the new iPhones, anything past the 5G is going to have the magical white pull tab tape stuff under here that is impossible to get up by prying which is by design by the way it is by design not supposed to come out that way okay by design which means this is the way that you should be taking it out they're called pull tabs why are they called pull tabs because you pull them and the tab pulls out okay now the big problem with this being is these little baby pull tabs down here and maybe you can see them hopefully there we go. So these are the little pull tabs right here, and you see there's that little white part under them. That's the actual adhesive itself, and you see it comes up pretty easy, but when you pry it, it doesn't come up. Again, it's not supposed to come up like that. It's supposed to be strong, like the sheer force of it coming off is supposed to be stronger than the pull force, okay? So now the deal is all you've got to do is take these tabs here and you got to pull them. But there's a problem with that, and this is why people are so sketched out by it, okay? They pull the tab and they break the tab. Why did they break the tab? Very, very simple. See down here? There's no room, okay? There is no room to pull your tab, okay? Now, you can do it very carefully over a long period of time and get that tab out, but smarter, not harder, guys. We are gonna make ourselves some room. What down here can be removed to do this repair? Quite simply, we're looking at the Taptic engine, okay? This is two screws, okay? Two screws to make sure that you don't blow up somebody's phone or your own. I'd say that's well worth the time invested, okay? So, just that two sentences of me ranting, I've already got the Taptic engine out. Look at that. So now what do we have here? We've got a lot of room, okay? We've got tons of room down here. Plenty of room to pull out these tabs, okay? So. I'm going to attempt to pull out these tabs in such a manner that you'll be able to see it on the camera. Uh, there's kind of a little technique to it, and I'm going to try and show you that technique. First, you need to go ahead and loosen up the, the tabs themselves, just so you can get a hold on them. Okay? So, oh, I wish this was more in focus. Okay. So now you see that we have the tab released, okay? All it is is wrapped around the front of the battery for, you know, compactness. It's for, you know, compression, space saving. You know, it's it's wrapped around for no other reason, okay? So let's go ahead and grab the second one. And I usually just take my flat tips and kind of run them over it until it comes up. It comes up very easily, no big deal. Once they're off, you'll know. You'll see it's kind of flappy in the wind there. Uh, now, what do I do? Grab myself some big old tweezers. Now they can be curved tweezers, they can be flat tweezers. You don't want sharp tweezers though, okay? You want something with more of a blunt end. Any kind of sharp tweezer may put undue stress on the actual pivot point of the, the tape itself when you're pulling it out, okay? Um, another big deal when taking these out is proper displacement of the tape, okay? What do I mean by proper displacement of the tape? Um, when you pull the tape out, it's gonna start to stretch, okay? So you've got to find some way, which I'm going to show you, um, how to displace the the actual tape itself so that it doesn't come in to like a to like a like a rolled up knot because once it hits that rolled up knot, it may actually break. Okay, so we're trying to keep this thing flat the whole time. So 
what I'm going to do, and hopefully I don't goof this up on the camera because I'm trying to show you guys how to do it here. Um, do, do, do. I'm going to grab, uh, let's see if you can see that. I'm going to grab this first tab right here with my tweezers. And all I'm doing is I'm breaking the original seal, okay? I am not going to take this thing in one, boom, all the way out. It's not going to work like that. All you need to do, actually I may need to do it by hand a little bit here. Maybe. And this is exactly why you do not just pull them out because there's kind of like a thing you have to break here. All right, so now that I've broken that, you can tell because it's really hard to pull out until you break that like the like the seal on it. You know what I'm saying? There's not really like a crazy seal. It's just once you've got it out a little bit, it's a lot easier to work with it. So now that I've got it out, I'm going to take my tweezers again. And remember, we're not using big old sharp tweezers. We need flat ones. Okay. You can grab it here. You see, I've got a See, I've got a full bit of tape under there. It's the only thing that's not moving. It's kind of awkward when I move it around like that. Now, what do I mean by displace the energy? Okay, so I'm pulling it out, but you see I'm putting my finger over it. Look at that. It's displacing the energy. Okay, it's magic. Now, once I've displaced it, look at that. It's nice and wide and open. No big deal. I'm going to slowly just... You can either pull the device, pull the tweezers. You'll start to see that it may grab up at the top, and if it does, or starts to like rip or anything like that, just slow down, no big deal. You can grab it. We're gonna displace it again. And I think just doing this kind of slow is the lame part. Look at that. All I'm doing is just pulling on straight out. I love that sound. That's so fun. Every single time, that's fun. In fact, you're going to have a lot of fun doing this once you know how to do it right. You're not going to be scared of it anymore, you know? And if you're not scared of it, then you're not going to be doing it the wrong way. So, we've got one of them out, and since that was so fun and easy, we've just got to do that one more time. So, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to break that seal. And you'll know what I'm talking about. If you practice this one time, you're going to understand what I mean by that little seal. It's just like you just got to get it started before you actually start pulling it out, okay? I can never find the tweezers I need when I want them. There we go. I really like using these for them. They just kind of hook around, and you don't have you have that big broad side right here. I love it for this. So I've got it wrapped around. If you need some extra help, just kind of stick your finger over it. Again, we're just breaking that seal. You see that? How it's just that white spot right there. I'm just breaking the seal. Okay. Got my flats back here. I'm going to displace the energy with my finger again here. So, just to show you better, I'm pulling it, but I'm also I'm putting a little bit of down pressure right here so that it stays even. Okay. Now you can guide it toward an open area like that. And I'm just gonna. Oh no, we broke it. No big deal. We're just gonna grab it. And you only need a little bit. You you can even grab just like a little corner of it, and if you're careful. Now it's hard to see here. But all you need is a little bit of it. And you see it starts coming again. It's no big deal. People get so worried that this is gonna like break inside of it. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you how to deal with that too. So it's not a big deal. Look at that. I'm just displaying. Oh, it's kind of hard to see there. There we go. 
I'm just dis you see that I'm displacing it just a little bit with my finger and putting even pressure across the battery tape. I mean, this is just too easy. There we go. There's not enough room. There we go. It's almost done on its own. Woo. Look at and look at that. The battery kind of just came out on its own and everything. Woo. Look at that. That's smooth. There's no damage, no pry marks, no nothing. Everything on here looks good. No big deal. Now, I do this all the time, guys. This is not a big deal for me, okay? The first time you do this, the second time you do this, maybe the third or fourth time, you're going to have a little trouble, okay? I get that, and I understand that. And I'm going to tell you right now how to deal with that, okay? Because what's going to happen is you're going to get halfway through it, and it's going to go, and it's going to snap. And it's going to be halfway down into the battery. It may even be your first pull. <gasps> What the heck do I do? Oh, oh, we pry, right? We pry it. No, we don't. Okay, very, very simple. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm. I don't even need to do the math. You're gonna do the math. What costs more? Ten minutes or a new phone? Take your time. No big deal. Ten minutes. Or a new phone. I think that 10 minutes is about dang near worth everybody's time if it's going to save the device. Now what do I mean by 10 minutes? What are we putting in that 10 minutes to fix this? See this right here, the motherboard? Just take it out. Save your butt. Take it out. Okay. The reason I say take it out is because if we just stick the battery back in here, we'll see that we have all this room right here, okay? And if something happens where we get tape stuck up inside here or up inside here, then the best way to access it is gonna be through the side, okay? You're not gonna, you don't really wanna pry the battery this way to get up under it. If you do that, there's a chance that you can actually bend the battery and damage it, okay? That's not the goal of what we're trying to do here. We're trying to do the job correctly, okay? So, very simple. If for some reason you break one of the pull tabs, the answer is take out the motherboard. Okay, once you've taken out the motherboard, you can take some uh, 7SAs or something like that with a very fine tip. And remember how I was showing you a second ago that you don't need a lot of this stuff to be able to get the pull started. Once you actually get that pull started, it kind of st it's like it wants to come out. It's designed to come out that way. It wants to be pulled. It doesn't want to be pried. It's just not how it's designed. You know. So all you gotta do, take this out. Once you have the motherboard out, then all you gotta do is kinda go in the side, grab a little bit of it, because let's be real here, if I take this and I take my tweezers and I put them on the side, either side that I go on, so either this side or this side, and then I don't know if it'll be easier to see right here or not. So, boom, that should be able to grab any tape on this side this should be able to grab any tape on this side, okay? It's just a very thin 7SA tweezer. It's got a nice curve to it. You get right in there, you just grab a little bit of it. You're not bending the battery. You're not doing anything crazy. You're just gonna grab a little bit of it. You're gonna start to pull it out. And even if it's itty bitty bit at a time, just kinda ease it out of there. And you're not gonna have a problem. You're gonna have an easy battery swap, okay? You're not gonna damage a phone. You're not gonna blow one up. And believe me, it happens every single day somebody's blowing something up. And that's part of the whole thing of, you know, customers, you know, not trusting batteries and then blowing up is because sometimes they're they're dealt with improperly. So before I get off on a crazy, ridiculous tangent with that, I'm just going to go ahead and stop right here. So. So, hey, I really hope you learned something today. In fact, if you uh, liked the video, go and hit right over down there and hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed and you want to start checking out all my stuff weekly, just head on over to the other side and hit subscribe. Now, if you are super about it and you want to learn everything that I'm trying to teach, whoop, boom, hit that notification bell, all right? It's really important. That way, every single time I upload something, it pops up right on your phone, your computer, whatever you're doing, all right?
And hey, check it out. Maybe you have an opinion about what I'm doing right now. Or maybe you even used my technique on a repair and it worked for you. If any of these things apply to you, or maybe you just want to say hi, hit me up with a comment. I love them. Seriously, I love the comments. They're my favorite. Every time I get one on my phone, I'm like, oh yeah. And if you are one of those people that is about to look me up on Instagram um, to ask me what equipment I use, well, guess what? I already got you. Don't even worry about it. Hit the description. Boom. Right down at the bottom has everything in a big old list. If there's something that I didn't put on there, then hit me up on Instagram, the phone god. Check out my stuff. Then hit me up and let me know what you need. And don't forget, I'm Justin, and this is The Art of Repair.